get knocked, Sparta! <laughs> no heart needed! Razabani for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm delighted to be with the Omen himself Mate. here in Coventry. Spence, how are we doing? Bro, it's so good to actually see you in the flesh. Like, we've spent two years on Zoom calls together. As, we, as we've been doing it, we started doing this like proper, me and you, like regular in lockdown. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice to get you in the flesh, mate. Um, what a night of boxing tonight, that was insane. All about the grassroots, opportunity, and all them kids delivered. They all won tonight, by the way. Dylan Chima come out victorious, and he's got the contract, and he's got the 40 bags in his pocket. But actually, they, they all won tonight because they, they all got that platform to showcase their skills, and no one let us down. That was, that was something else, man. That was brilliant. Talk about Dylan's grit. I think you must have broken his nose in that first round, wow. but Ryan Charlton came with everything he had in all those three rounds. Mate, I mean, look what Dylan had to do. Like, he's an unknown quantity. Two bouts he's had. He comes from a former world kickboxing champion. Two fights as a professional. No one knew who he was. Couldn't find any footage of him on YouTube, anything. Only a couple of little kickboxing fights. And the geezer delivered. What he showed us was heart, grit, determination. All, of, all them ingredients make, make champions. He's, he's delivered that and he showed us that actually he can come through like some tough times. He had to ask himself some questions there. You're right, that nose was broke in the first round, man. That was swollen at the top and it was just getting bigger and the kid bit down his gum shield. That, first, that final round could have been fought in a phone booth. That was insane, man. That was nuts. Spencer, it is getting late here, but I just want to get your thoughts. Next week, it's the big one. It's arguably one of the biggest British heavyweight fights in a very, very, very long time. Sure. Tyson Fury, Dylan White. Dylan's been a bit absent throughout the promotion, but he showed his face on the media pool a couple of days ago. What did you make of the way he looked, the way he spoke, and how he, you know, how he presented himself? Is he, is he ready? Yeah, he's ready. He knows what he's going into, did he? And he's, um, he's been grafting, mate. You can see that. He looks in great shape. I think we're going to get something really special, you know. I, I'm, I can't wait to be there. Um, fortunate enough to be working on that. And yeah, I'm just, I can't wait, mate, because it's all about how Tyson Fury approaches the fight. I think he wins anyway, but he's the outstanding heavyweight in the division at the moment. He's proved that against Wilder. You know, he's proved that, you know, he showed us a bit of everything that we see tonight. The heart, the grit, the determination, you know, able to box, able to get down dirt in fighting the trenches. So I think the Fury wins the fight and it's just how he approaches it and how he wins it. But the, the, the reason this is so intriguing is because Dillian is so dangerous. And he's got that jerky sort of style where you don't really know where the shots are coming from. Massive right hand, even bigger left hook. So it's a dangerous fight, man. It's a, it's a live fight. The atmosphere as well, this is going to be insane. Can't wait. You said Tyson Fury is going to win, but what kind of style does Tyson need in that fight to beat someone like Dillian White? He has to keep that long and he has to slowly chip away, I think. I think that, you know, he's just like, I think that's where he's really effective. He's quite light on his feet. He's good with his hands. He, he likes to tie his opponents up on the inside. I would like to see if Fury's going to approach the fight and keeping it long because if he rolls his dice and tries to take the fight to Dillian, like he did with Wilder, Dillian's got that power, mate, to take you out, you know? And it's, uh, so I say, he's a live opponent. It's like, this is not a foregone conclusion. I think it's going to be more tricky than, than people give it credit for. Dillian's, um, he's going to give it everything, mate. He's been waiting a long time for this opportunity, and now he's got it. Let's see how it goes. Obviously, 94,000 people in Wembley. It's a record as well, Spence. The fans aim for a treat. Insane, mate. Well, look, when Groves box Frotch there, when, you know, Anthony Joshua box there, we've seen it all, mate. Like, the atmosphere there, you, you've you been there, like, you're just there, and especially when you're at ringside, you're like, you're looking around, you, we see all the lights and the noise, you know what I mean, the entrance. And, mate, it's magical. Boxing at the moment is just on an all-time high, and, and, that, and that shows that, you know, with that fight. Two British fighters. WBC World Heavyweight title, Wembley Stadium. Mate, this is what dreams are made of. Insane. Are we going to hear the final bell or is this going to end early? Mm, I think we hear the final bell. I think the Fury wins it on points. I, uh, I think Dillian comes out with a lot of credit from this fight. I think he's going to give it a real go. I think there's going to be some drama. They both might touch down as well. But I think we're going to get a points. Yeah.
Well, we're all excited. We're all looking forward to it. Roll on next week, five weeks spent, safe journey home or whatever you're doing tonight. Just yeah. be good, behave yourself. I'm home, mate. I'm home. I've got to be, I've got to be good. It's Easter. So, listen, I'm more excited about seeing you in the flesh tonight, mate. Wicked stuff. Raza, as always, mate, really appreciate it. Spence Oliver, IFL TV, thank you very much. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness App and find your greatness within.